Hey, what's up, guys? Back here again with another video response. This is going to be a video response to Tattoo Doorman. Go check his channel out. He's a really awesome YouTuber. Uh, has awesome videos and has a killer collection. Um, he put a video up about a month and a half ago, a month ago, about uh, my roots of horror. I've been wanting to do a video response for a little while, and I finally got a chance to do it. And uh, it's a really interesting topic for a video. Um, yeah, this is, you know, obviously all, all huge horror fans, so, so, you know, it's nice to hear everyone's uh, story about how they became, you know, the horror fan that they are. Anyway, I'll go ahead and get started with mine. Um, I was a young kid, you know, uh, five, six years old. I have older, older siblings, a brother and sister, and they were, you know, like most people around that age, uh, in the 80s, were into horror and uh, you know watched a good bit of horror films on the weekends with their friends over and I always kind of snuck in there and caught bits and pieces and you know was always told I was too young to watch or whatever and you know so I would kind of have to sneak off and watch the video on my own when nobody else was around so that's uh you know probably what spawned the the uh, the interest you know in these horror films and probably one of the reasons why I'm such a huge fan today you know not only nostalgia, but also the fact that I'm doing something I'm not supposed to be doing. But anyway, I uh, we got a VHS player right around that same period of time, and uh, you know, of course, I'd go to the uh, video stores to rent movies. And uh, when I was around 10 or 11 years old, I was given the golden ticket, the ability to rent any of the uh, movies in the th in the uh, video rental store. Uh, that you know the R-rated titles. Basically, my parents said you know it's okay for him to watch or for him to rent the R-rated titles on his own. So uh, yeah, we had a, a small mom and pop video store about a mile and a half, two miles away from my house, and I could ride my bike up there and pick up a video with my lunch money or whatever you know spare change I had lying around at that time, and you know take it back to the house and check it out. And that's, that's really how I got introduced to so many of the cult titles. You know, uh, Night of the Demons is one I remember watching a lot. Uh, original uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, so many films. Um, Reanimator. And, you know, back in those days, like, the, the different small, you know, independently owned video stores, they didn't have, like, a huge selection of, of all the horror titles that are out. You know, they just had a very small bits and pieces selection of, you know, the the popular titles. So, you know, I watched as many of those as I could. You know, we had a good many stores around our house, but I couldn't ride my bike to all of them. So, uh, you know, went went to, you know, eventually to all the video stores and watched as many of these films as I could. And, you know, around those, those times, there was a, a program here that came on the USA Network on Friday and Saturday nights, I think, that was uh, USA Up All Night. And, uh, you know, we didn't have any horror hosts around here. That's that's primarily what I grew up with, is, you know, considering them horror hosts. You know, Gilbert Gottfried and Rhonda Shear, those folks, and they would play some, you know, cheesy horror movies or, you know, they'd show a marathon of uh, Friday the 13th or Nightmare on M Street or whatever, it, you know, whatever it happened to be. And, you know, back then, Freddie and Jason were like superstars, you know, they were, uh, had their own fucking baseball cards and shit, you know, they were, you know, what we talked about, you know, on the playground, it was, you know, about the new Friday the 13th movie that's coming out, I remember being, uh, shit, man, I was young as hell, like 11, and everybody was talking about Freddy versus Jason, and it was, you know, like eight years later or whatever that it actually came out, and, uh, everybody was disappointed. No, it was more than eight. It was like ten years later that the movie actually came out. But, you know, that's what we all wanted to see, the Freddy vs. Jason fight. Um, but, yeah, man, horror was just huge around that time. You had so many uh, horror TV shows. Tales from the Crypt, uh, Tales from the Dark Side, uh, The Hitchhiker, uh, Monsters. M Monsters was one of my favorites. I know a lot of people don't. Don't talk about monsters very much, but I, I, if they ever do some sort of release, I'd love to pick those up. They're actually available on YouTube, but they're just awful quality. Um, 
let's see. Uh, oh, uh, Freddy's Nightmares was one. Friday the Thirteenth, the series. But I mean, pretty much everywhere you looked around that time was horror. So I just ate that shit up and really just longed for those days where you know it's it's decent horror everywhere. Not like today when uh, all these companies are just cashing in on you know whatever that the popular thing happens to be. But um, but yeah, you know I was you know with the onset of the internet and the onset of DVD that really broadened my horizons. And, you know, when I was in college, I didn't really watch a whole lot of films, a whole lot of horror films. But, um, you know, as I started to, to surf the Internet a little more and I started finding, you know, different message boards and finding co groups of people with common interests that, uh, you know, all loved horror. And from that point, you know, I could get recommendations from them of some stuff I hadn't heard of and would go watch that and, you know, vice versa. And then with... with DVD, you know, all these foreign films that were not released here in the U.S. were coming out, so I just had a had a huge influx of, of new stuff to check out, and just, you know, 2003, 2004, huge, uh, shit, 10 years ago now, um, you know, that's, that's really what, what shaped me into the huge horror fan that I am today, because I was able to watch virtually anything I wanted, you know, as long as you had 30 bucks to slap down on a on a DVD, you know, but, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's changed a little bit, you know, with, with, uh, streaming and, you know, Blu-rays and, and stuff like that. And, uh, horror is, you know, grown a little bit of popularity and then shrunk back. And now it seems like it may be on the, you know, growing again, but, um, but yeah, just, uh, I love the genre, love the, you know, love the fans, love the people. I just love the community and, you know, interacting with, with you guys about, you know, recommendations and stuff like that. And as always, if there's anything that you enjoy, you know, uh, be sure to let me know. I'll, I'll definitely check it out and we can, we can talk about it. But um, really awesome video, Tat, and uh, thanks for putting it up, man. And thanks for getting the community talking. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.